So um, Trustamp is a very young company. It's been around for maybe one year. Um, the main thing that we do is we're trying to provide trust and identity as a service. And I know that sounds like a kind of a common tagline. Um, but the problem that you have in today's economy is you don't really know who it is that you're potentially doing business with on the other side. You hear things such as catfishing, you know, and then the dating world, identity fraud. As the marketplace continues to grow, you need to have confidence in who you are doing business with. And that's one of the things that Trust Stamp is here in order to try to provide that service by utilizing things such as biometrics, social media, uh, criminal background checks. We kind of try to create this composite confidence score in order to allow the customer to determine how comfortable I am doing business with this person and how confident I am that the person is actually who they say they are. So there's probably about three or four really important factors that we had when you think about software development. The first is the technical acumen of the team. Can they actually do the things that you need them to do? Obviously, the other thing that's really important for a small startup such as ours is, what's the price? How much is this going to cost? Um, and then third is that relationship. If we think about, I've done a lot of outsourcing before in other countries. Um, the relationship hasn't necessarily been good. I hear something, you know, I, I hear on a daily or weekly status that everything's going great, and then right before delivery, I find out that everything is now three or four months delayed. Um, so we kind of have these three or four factors that were extremely important to us in order to, to select uh, a software development firm. And the nice thing is our chairman actually already had a relationship with this small company out in Poland called Ten Clouds. When I actually then came on to the company as the team, that's when I started actually being formally introduced. I met, I met our project manager, I started meeting the developers, and to be perfectly honest, I didn't know the quality that was actually out in the Eastern European countries. I was, I was shocked at how well everyone spoke English. I was shocked at um, the technical expertise, because where I came from was Google. Oops. Uh, where I came from was Google, which is very used to um, extremely high technical acumen, um, extremely kind of fast-paced nature, and really I didn't see much of a, of, a, of a slowdown from what I was actually used to. We could come and we could, we could expect very high things, we could expect very hard problems to be solved, and we didn't hear complaining, we didn't get a lot of pushback, except uh, technically not feasible. But in the meantime, many times what we were told isn't that we couldn't do something, but maybe the approach needed to be changed in a way in order to make sure that it would be successful. One of the more interesting things that there, there was kind of two areas um, that in initially kind of really stuck out to me that I was shocked. Um, first, um, the, the UX um, interactions that we had, I was not expecting. Um, there's most outsourcing firms provide no UX leadership. They don't provide much acumen there. Um, the people we had were highly professional and highly capable. Um, what I would expect internally in the States if I had my own UX team is something that they provided. The other thing that I thought um, was a huge differentiator was the program management and the style of program management that the team had. Um, they use up-to-date agile methodologies, um, their communication is constant, um, and and the, the, and they also, when we bring up problems, they're very quick to um, not only get the the uh, solution in place, but then also to communicate back kind of how that's going. I expect technical acumen because you can't have a technical shop without technical people. But when we think about the other kind of more um, on the sidelines or, or, or background type of things, I wasn't expecting that. I was actually expecting myself to have to do a lot of that um, and provide that guidance. Um, it was um, a, a pleasant surprise to find out that not only was it already there, but it was high quality.